CTV's chief international correspondent Paul Workman joins us live this morning from Kyiv. Paul, good to be talking to you. We saw the president out today saying he's pushing to end this war this year. Uh, do you think that he and the public really believe that that's a possibility? I think the public in this city, in Kyiv, and across the country really believe that they can force the Russians out, absolutely. Uh, their sense of determination and their resilience hasn't changed, hasn't uh, been reduced at all. In fact, I think the country f is probably stronger than it was a year ago. Uh, you know, this was a fear-laden place exactly one year ago today after those rockets and missiles started hitting the country, hitting the city, hitting the suburbs of Kyiv. Uh, at that moment, it looked as if uh, that this country was going to fall and perhaps fall very quickly. Ukrainian forces put up an incredible defense, pushed the Russians back over the months, and now are equipped with more tanks and um, other uh, weapons coming from the West, and they feel as if their army is much stronger. And there is a huge amount of faith in this country for the soldiers now on the front line, Nick. Hmm. And the Ukrainian military seems to indicate that Russia might escalate its campaign today. Is there any sign of that sort of aggression? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear all the questions. There's some breakup here. Um, but just let me fill you in if I can. I'll, I'll try to answer it this way. Uh, you know, there's, there's uh, obviously this is a very somber day here, and there is certainly a lot of anxiety as well, not just, in, you know, the country reflecting on what it's been through over the last year, the horror it's been through, um, and also worried the anxiety that a, a missile attack could be ordered by Vladimir Putin at any moment here. The skies have been free of any missiles and any attacks. So far today, but there's no certainty in that at all. And Zelensky this morning began the day uh, with a tweet essentially saying that, you know, this country had chosen not to surrender. It had chosen the colors of its flag rather than the white flag of surrender and that it would continue fighting no matter what. Yeah, it's been remarkable the resilience, Paul, and definitely a difficult anniversary to mark. But the awe inspiring stamina, really, of Ukrainians has been impressing the world. You know, do you think anybody? Last year, this time last year, expected Ukraine could sustain this kind of resistance for this long. And are there any fears that this can, yeah, can keep up, signal. perhaps? I think maybe we've lost Paul at it's this gone. point. Yeah, we've lost him. Okay, that was Paul Workman, CTV's chief international correspondent, uh, live from Kiev. Unfortunately, the connection wasn't as solid as it's been in the past.